Hello, this is New Vision TV and here's what's making headlines. I'm Lynn Komjisha. The government yesterday agreed to amend the Excise Duty Amendment Act 2018 that introduced a 1% tax on all mobile money transactions to 0.5%. Sources private to yesterday's cabinet meeting that lasted for the better part of the afternoon at State House in Entebbe said the Finance Minister Matia Kasaija was directed to, as soon as possible, present before Parliament the Excise Duty Amendment Bill 2018 to revise the 1% to 0.5% on sending, receiving and withdrawing mobile money. Despite a heated debate from a section of ministers, the government maintained the 200 shillings daily tax on over-the-top services of social media usage that has recently sparked a public outcry. In a funny interview, the government chief whip Ruth Nankabra confirmed the move. She also confirmed that the government would be presenting before parliament its revised position for debate and approval. Moving on, President Yoweri Museveni has ordered the Minister of Local Government to quickly issue centralized stamps for the newly elected local council one chairpersons and their committees across the country. In sports news, beaten nine times in 11 outings, the KCC Panthers' new relegation from the NBL was certain at the end of the regular season if a drastic change did not happen ahead of their last 11 fixtures. Club chairman Henry Odongo and his executive believe the change had to start at the coaching level. Out went Roger Serenigo, the man who led KCCA to a higher division for two straight years. In came Balnis Ankunda, a two-time NBL winning veteran coach. The result, three wins in the last four games, including a shock 57-54 victory over league-leading Betway Power on Sunday at UCU main campus Mukono. Odongo Kara, who finished with nine points and six rebounds as the Panthers rallied from a 13-point deficit to condemn part only their second loss of the season. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Bwindi Impenetrable National Park. And like other parks in Uganda, Bwindi Impenetrable National Park is known for the diversity of species it contains. This range from mammals, birds, butterflies, and even frogs. Located in Kanungu district in the southwestern part of Uganda, Bwindi is most notable for what is now known as Bwindi gorillas. Let's take a look. Now, gorillas are most notable in Windy Impenetrable National Park, which is connected to Windy Impenetrable Forest. This is located in Kanungu District. A natural walk through this park leads you from one mountain gorilla to the other. These animals enjoy every minute of time while in the park. A look at how they play and interact with each other is worth looking at the whole day. How they feed on the grass and the plants that covers the lower lands of Windy is mesmerizing. This alone gives a warm welcome to any tourist in the park. There are over 300 mountain gorillas in this park. The park has a diversity of features such as mammals, birds, butterflies, frogs, snakes, geckos, and many other endangered species. Bwindi Impenetrable National Park is among the most diverse forests in East Africa with various flowering plants, species, trees, and even leaves. Tourists who come to this park mostly engage in gorilla tracking since it is the park's main tourist attraction. But since Uganda is endowed with clear skies almost throughout their activities like mountain bike ride ventures, gorilla trekking, camping, safari vacation have been supported. Now 
na fuma palo va Africa Stories. Vista website www.newvision.co.ug or newspaper The Sun Division is also another home of adventures to so grab your copy every Sunday. For pal of Africa Stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere in the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.